safeguard the breath means that's why there's no smoking because you're killing yourself. No one has to tell you that that's forbidden. The tree of life that you see on the horizon, God has already given that within us. The tree of life is the bronchial tree, is the, is the lungs. Our life was to nourish that tree with a divine breath and divine grace and use the vehicle of our physicality to unlock the reality of the soul and to move within the heavens in this lifetime and in this existence. Not when you're dead, it's too late then. So then the world is trying to burn and contaminate the tree, so no, you can't do that. You're, so, you're to nourish that breath, nourish that energy that comes in. And when it comes in pure and purified, then that breath and those lungs are now sending that power into the heart. So then the condition of your heart, now you see the chain of how this is going to be affecting you. The condition of your heart is going to be based on the power of your breath. So when you're conscious of your breath and you're making that breath with zikr in a state of meditation, trying to breathe the energy in, the, that divine breath, that beautiful breath, it begins to dress the heart, dress the blood, the blood that enters into the heart. Now if that heart is making a chanting and saying, Allah, 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 means then that blood is now being stamped with zikr and the part of the blood that's being stamped is the iron. So the iron inside the blood cell is the one that being stamped by divine energy and that's why that iron is in the body, it's for guidance. That's why the blood is red and that's the secret of that. So when Allah tells the servant to remember me and by doing their breathing and remembrance and zikr and chanting, what's happening every time they're chanting? That the heart is stamping that iron, that blood with divine names, divine grace, divine lights. As a result that blood now is pumped throughout the body and all the eleven organs and dressing all the organs with the zikr of Allah with the praises of the Almighty. So the breath is the whole gateway for that energy to come. If the person is unconscious of it, means then they don't understand the importance of the breath, they don't know what's happening with their blood, how the heart is stamping them and then from that how is it affecting the rest of the organs of the body. And evilness understands you as a kingdom of God and his whole interest is to take down one potential king at a time. For if you should reach to Divine Grace, you have the strength of a thousand men. So his objective is what? Take you down. How is he going to take you down? By all of your defense mechanisms of your body. Make you to drink what's inappropriate, make you to smoke and to intoxicate and to destroy the lungs and destroy your kidneys, destroy your liver so that your whole body's mechanism of defense is brought down and then their negativity overtake the body and overtake the heart because everything's fighting for the heart of mankind. If evilness and bad energy enter, but Allah gave all these mechanisms of defense on your physiology. So how he's attacking them? By making them to drink, by making them to smoke, by making them to eat inappropriate. Why? Because you're going to destroy the liver, the kidneys and all of the, the body's defense mechanisms. And then attack their breath and destroy their lungs and their heart so that they can overtake the heart and destroy that one potential king.